Go for the best. I did. Loretto College, Kolkata, India, Centenary Year, 2011 to 2012. Our story is about celebration of women changing India with 100 years of courage and inspiration. Yesterday's space. The first historical accounts of Indian women date from the 19th century and are a product of the colonial experience. When European travelers came to colonial India, they introduced new ideas about women's roles and capabilities, and these ideas were adopted by enlightened Indians. It was the subaltern project that led Gayatri Spivak to question, can the subaltern speak? The ideological construction of gender keeps the male dominant. If in the context of colonial production, the subaltern has no history and cannot speak, the subaltern as female is even more deeply in shadow. But research has collected songs, folk tales and artistic works and reread phallocentric documents with a new sensitivity to gender. Unfortunately, elite has been employed to categorize and then dismiss women who struggled to become literate. They were abused and ostracized, sometimes leaving their abode. But they achieved what they did by sheer force of will. They did not lead privileged lives. They lived and worked within patriarchal societies but were not crippled by the process. Set in the past. 1841, Irish missionaries from Dublin, Ireland, arrived in India. 1842, Loretto House was established. But first, while Loretto College celebrates its beginning of the 100th year of women's education, it is important to remember here the visionary role of Mary Ward an English woman who challenged the church and a patriarchal society in Europe to build the Institute of the Blessed Virgin Mary, founded in 1625, more commonly known as the Loretto Order. Her belief in women's education was to think in terms of mobilization of minds and conscious will. Her affirmative action was that it constituted restorative justice, a way of making up for discrimination, past and present, that denied women equal education and work opportunities. Above all, she saw the possibility of improving people's lives. Never allow yourselves to back to your lives as usual, uninvolved and uninformed. This has been the driving force and spirit of Loretto College education. Confines of time. Calcutta in the 1830s was rather a different place from the city we know today. Different and yet far more glamorous. From Diamond Harbor, along the river front, you could see the weekend residences of European merchants, for Calcutta was the political and commercial capital of British India. It was called the city of palaces. The Maidan, race course, and architecture certainly reminded one of a little bit of England. But the Indian bazaars, drums, pujas, too could be seen alongside this Western picture. 1833 ushered in reform movements by Raja Ram Mohan Roy, Bidda Shagur, Keshav Chandra Sen, and the Brahma Shamaj movement. Christian missionaries like David Hare, William Carey, and others introduced organized Western education for Indians. There is no doubt that they brought with them their Western thought, education, culture, language, norms, and practices. These came into conflict with issues of religion, race, gender, and language, all of which are foci of national identity in the historical interaction of Britain and India. It was a shared experience of religion and secularity in imagining the modern nation of both countries. Hence we witness a policy of resistance, assimilation on trial, consolidation, and expansion through close encounters of two cultures. By the time Loretto entered Calcutta, changes in official policy favoring Western education and culture was endorsed. 
by 1857, universities were established in Calcutta, Bombay, and Madras. Tracing the spirit. Political society is made up of governmental institutions, while civil society is the totality of private institutions and activities exercising persuasion over the community. This concept of civil society is where Loreto College Kolkata, established in 1912, has played an extraordinary role in educating decades of young women through their private efforts. The Orient, as Loreto India has revealed, is an integral part of European material civilization and culture. This is what Western Enlightenment was about. As a women's college since inception, Loreto has been engaged with the disprivileged. Free education of such women have been its primary concern and activity. Women's education and empowerment remains a major concern. Here a woman's life comprises of joys and pains as much as abstract thinking to define precisely, to create in the mind and generalize. Loretto College ensures that no woman suffers from a sense of isolation, subordination and dependency. Loretto College has changed from a historical classical content to a more liberal and practical one. However, there are certain enduring constants, an uncompromising defense of academic and intellectual freedom, attention to public issues, human dignity, and a concern for the rights and privileges of women. It has enormous faith in the still undeveloped powers of young women. Loretto College exists in a multicultural world and pluralistic society. There is no cause for discrimination at any level of learning. Designed to remember. Its monumental growth and much sought after education reaffirms its high standards of learning and above all quality conscious education. Today, Loreto College continues with its commitment to train women to believe in self-reliance, both academic and vocational training as well as leadership training. It helps to integrate life skills, critical thinking, creativity, decision making, etc. It has played a pioneering role in women's higher education, not only in Kolkata, but in India. It is the first institution to be accredited with the highest grade in the eastern region of India, as well as declared a college with potential for excellence. Its use of TQM stresses on human-oriented and human intensive techniques. This has helped to provide a focus and thrust on quality management culture in the institution. Loretto College offers the best undergraduate liberal arts education and experience for women. Academic excellence is its top priority. The broad curriculum is dynamic, responsive to social change and quick to incorporate new fields of study. Teaching is its first commitment. It believes in developing the full potential of women. Loretto College students can look forward to a rewarding life after college. They know their priorities. They can pursue fascinating lives in any number of ways because of their resourcefulness and independence, skills in writing, research, and analytical thinking which they develop at Loretto. They can go for university postgraduate studies, have good jobs, provide significant service where needed, enjoy a happy marriage, or put together any combination of the aforementioned. Here, self-confidence, maturity, perspective, develop in the context of a social environment. One concerned with you as a unique human being with potential that cannot be stereotyped by gender or background. Here, young women direct their energies and talents to the search of truth rather than to struggle for equal rights in the classroom, in college governance or in extracurricular activities. It is student-oriented learning here. Every educational opportunity is open to all students, seminars, debates, dramas, publishing papers, etc. There is no preconceived idea of an appropriate choice for women. Full professors teach beginning level courses. 
students have direct access to each professor. Most classes are small, discussion is lively, and students and faculty get to know each other. Loretta College believes in inclusive education. It is an asset to society. Beyond time. Loretta College for Women has been a leader in women's higher education. All principals from 1912 till date have made valuable contributions towards the growth and development of a quality college in the country. Loretta graduates have been successful in a variety of endeavors since 1915 till date. Although a women's college, male professors are invited as guest lecturers. Professors are not amplified voices from a distant lectern. Classroom experiences involve real give and take. Attending an independent undergraduate college means being in a responsive community with all resources reserved for you, libraries, computer center, sports, etc. Studying the liberal arts means you will gain the broad skills necessary to take full advantage of a dynamic changing world. Its BIET teacher training department produces the finest teachers to serve in our secondary schools both in the country and abroad. Academic framework consists of humanities, social sciences and sciences. Honors and general level courses are offered. There is a college canteen and common room for students to enjoy brimful. Democratic student self-government is perhaps its finest tradition. Respect for individual honor and right of each student to control her own life are observed. Distinguished visitors visit the college throughout the academic year. Religious life of students involves daily assembly prayers conducted by students. Counseling individual and group also prepares students to confront their problems. Here, community outreach activity is an integral part of the college program for all students, including the B.Ed. students. They learn not only to understand values of life, but also experience the same while rendering meaningful and significant social service to various disprivileged institutions that are a vital part of their living environment. This also includes the IPSL program offered by the college to international students. Loreto College Alumni Association is actively involved in college participation. Its presence is deeply appreciated. Loretto College, is it right for you? Yes, if you want to have a fundamental breadth of knowledge, on the basis of which you can continue to learn for the rest of your life. Yes, if you want to acquire that knowledge in a small community where you can discuss what you are learning as you go along with your friends and your professors. Yes, if you want to acquire a strong sense of self and of your potential as a woman. For 100 years, Loretta College has been committed to the education of women. Yes, if you want a voice in the decisions that will affect your college life now and a sense of confidence that you can continue to affect what happens to you after college. Yes, if you want a beautiful campus with a cosmopolitan environment. Yes, if you want to be sure you will get the kind of education that will allow you to move into the next century with confidence. Yes, if you plan to make a difference in the world, Loretto College will help you to go on educating yourself long after you graduate. That kind of education never grows obsolete. Finally, Loretto College's engaging narrative spanning from 1912 till date highlights its influence at critical periods of Indian history. Perhaps it brings out the special role of hope and inspiration that women played and will continue to play in Indian history and culture. Loretta College gives us a particular identity that doesn't speak of only one category. Students are aware not only of their own college but other affiliations too. Here we learn to imbibe a concern for human life, 
responsibility for choice and reasoning, a sense of achievement, together with the thought of giving something to society. The efficacy of a reasonable Loretta voice helps us to establish ourselves. It is certainly a defining moment of one's life. Cultural freedom was never ignored, neither will it be, I'm sure, in the future. After all, our common humanity matters most. Forever young.